Hi, it's me, Val. Um, a lot has happened since the last time we spoke, which is about a year and a half ago now. Uh, for starters, I left my career as a research scientist to become a toy designer. I also left my quaint little shared house where I had a roommate in my university city to move back to Toronto where I'm from into my very first apartment where I live alone. One thing that hasn't changed is that I'm still sculpting during my nights and weekends and that is still my biggest passion and love and it probably will stay that way for a long time to come. But this is my life now and I just wanted to take you along on this ecstatic, super cool, uh, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same day in my life as a toy designer slash sculptor. So since I work from home, most days I'm just staying in my pajama bottoms and I'll change my top. Uh, but some days like today, I might want to put in some more effort. It does make me feel more alert and confident to put on some outside clothes and a bit of makeup. big ball of bow. <laughs> Remember to always toast your ball of bows. Don't microwave them because they taste a hundred times better with a slightly crispy top. This is something that I only started to do recently, but when I'm having breakfast, I'll make my to-do list for the day. It's been helping me feel a lot more accomplished to have a physical record of what I've done versus before weeks would go by and I feel like I've done nothing because I forget what I do day to day. For some context, I am a mid-level designer on my team, so aside from actual design work, I also have a few admin tasks that I'm responsible for, which I usually do during my mornings and at the end of the day. After the morning admin tasks, I'll have my daily stand-up meetings with my team, which is what's happening right now uh, in the footage. And during those meetings, we go over what's in the design pipeline, any new announcements, and also answer any comments, questions, or concerns that junior designers might have. Usually after my meetings, I'll have time to work on my own design files, which is the fun part. Uh, so what we do in terms of actual design work is we design products. And right now our main product are plushies. We're best known for that. And we do make really high quality plushies, if I can say so myself. Um, the process starts with our clients and our clients can be either a company or they can be individual content creators that our company decides whether they're a good fit or not um, and our clients will usually come to us with some sort of rough design idea of a character or whatever they want made into a product or a plushie and I can't show you the design files that I'm working on right now for NDA reasons but uh, your girl is actually working with the company not only as an employee but 
I was very honored um, to be deemed a good fit as a creator to work with, so I can actually show you the design file for my own plushie, Straw Booty. Now as an employee and a creator, I'm not allowed to actually work on the design file for my own plushie. My boss actually worked on it and obviously did a wonderful job um, during the design process. We have to think about how the plush is going to be constructed, the shapes um, that it's made of, as well as fabrication methods and materials. We usually have to modify the creator's design prompt so that it fits our company's standardizations. And these standardizations basically ensure that all of our plushies fit into our universe and are accomplishable, like physics-wise. As the creator, I provide them initially with the reference photos of my character, and when I receive the design file, I would give revision notes and what I want to change. Once I'm happy with it, the plush sample is going to be manufactured, and I actually received the first sample of Straw Booty, which I'm really excited to show you guys. Here she is. I had a couple of things that I wanted to change in terms of proportions and a few details, but I think she's looking adorable, and I think we're very close to launching her campaign. Um, I will definitely keep you guys posted when that's happening um, and when she's ready to launch. And um, I hope you'll I hope you'll take one home. She's gonna be really cute. She's supposed to be like a comfort, um, motivational character. So. This is really me at my best. I cook maybe half my meals, and when I do, I make sure to make the most out of the time that I'm spending cooking. Um, I do order in pretty often, and I don't love that. I don't, I'm not proud of it, um, but I just haven't had energy, and I don't enjoy cooking, so this is me trying my best, and I'm trying to get better at it. Don't judge me. After lunch, I'm right back at my desk doing the same thing. It's uh, truly eventful, uh, just trying to finish up my files. Recently, we did hire two new junior designers, so throughout my day, I'm also tending to their questions, reviewing their files, and I also had to run a training session with them this afternoon. But my days are mostly what you see now, just me sitting in front of the screen uh, at my standing desk that I don't stand at. Please subscribe for more exquisite content like this. So it's about 5.40 at the moment and I've just wrapped up work, which is great. Typically what I do after work is like I'll probably go downstairs for a walk either with Mo or if I have um, errands to run and places to go then I'll just go by myself. Today I think I'm just going to go downstairs and grab like a peppermint mocha from Starbucks but usually I just go downstairs after work for a quick walk just to give my eyes and mind a break and then I'll come back and like have dinner and start working on my personal art. Mm -hmm. After my break, I'll usually get started with my personal work. This could be brainstorming my next personal project, working on brand collaborations, or last month, which is October, I just launched my Patreon. So this is what I've been spending most of my nights on now. These straw boo-boos uh, were the clay rewards for last month. I also made him and straw booty into big vinyl stickers, and I was obsessed with how they came out. Um, and I just want to say thank you so much to my patrons. Um, I'm so grateful to have a community of people who really understand and support me and my work. It's dinner time already. I'm just having some leftovers. Sorry, it doesn't look very appetizing, but it's really yummy. I really like it. And I also have some chips to go with it. Um, and I have... A movie that I'm gonna put on I think tonight I'm gonna watch Disenchanted on Disney Plus I love the first movie I think most people do and I saw the trailer for this one and it looks interesting I think Giselle is gonna become a villain or something I'm not too sure but let's go does anybody else miss the really old like white and blue logo of Disney coming on before the movie starts this is nice but I miss the classic logo. My hair is so high in 
my dresses go. This is my favorite of scene. That's so funny. Rags. You made of rags. People like me always do. People like who? What are you talking about? Oh, wicked stepmother. What? Oh, there God. it is. <laughs> there it is. Oh, yeah, no, 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 I can totally see. Hello guys, it's pretty late right now, but I just finished the November Patreon reward for Fairy Frog Parents tier. I think he's so cute. Um, he's the little froggy that was featured on my coaster that I made in October, um, but I wanted to give it a little bit of twist. Still going with fall vibes, but not so much like Halloween anymore. Um, he's very much inspired by Little Red Riding Hood. I've just imported a couple of photos that um, I've taken of him onto Procreate to edit to make the Patreon reward post for the month. Um, and I'm going to turn him into a sticker afterwards for the um, Straw Booty Tea Party tier um, along with this creation here. I'm going to turn this one as well as the little frog into a sticker and I'll show you guys when it's done. Okay, y'all, so I just finished the November Patreon reward poster that I'm going to be posting on Patreon, and I'm deciding whether to post it on IG stories or um, as an IG feed post or both. Uh, but basically, it just shows like the sculpture that the $60 tier is going to be getting along with the two stickers, which I think are so cute. I just ordered these stickers on Sticker App as well, and I'm so excited to see how they're going to turn out. Here is how the stickers ended up looking like. They turned out even better than the October ones. I love them so much. Uh, I always save a copy of each for myself so I can show you what they look like without the backing. Once I feel sleepy from doing personal work, which is around 11 to 1 a.m., I will wash up and just climb into bed and be a vegetable. Uh, I'd say this is when I'm the most relaxed. I browse my phone and I laugh at some funny memes and fall asleep. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. If you made it to the end, comment so much booties. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Why don't ya? I'm planning to post a new vlog bi-weekly, so I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye!